Hi everybody, I am Thomas from Virginia Outdoors Unlimited and today we are going to be doing some more morel hunting. It is April Fools today, uh, actually the third day in a row we're going to be out morel hunting. Uh, a little bit cooler day today, it's only right around mid 50s, we've had a little bit of a cool off, I'm not sure if, I'm guessing we had a cold front roll through. Basically just the same sort of stuff in here, kind of bottom lands, we have a hill on one side so we're just going to be working the bottoms, checking up on the hill a little bit. Uh, we're searching around poplar trees. I got a couple poplar trees behind me right now. So yeah, hopefully we can find some more morels and stay tuned. We're all along this way right here. Couple decent ones there. Spot a nice one right there. Pretty cool looking yellow one right there. That one grew sideways. It's a decent sized one for sure. Yeah. Well, we got this ditch line in here. I'm just working along this ditch line now. Pretty much still just hopping from poplar tree to poplar tree though. Y'all can see there's definitely some big poplar trees in there. I almost bet you money my dad's about to stumble across a decent patch right by the base of this one. But like I said, I'm just working this ditch in here, sure enough. Finding them not too far off the ditch. Decent yellow one here, it looks like. One thing I almost always do is right where I find one, I just squat down and look. Just search, you know, out in front of you, just real slow, just run your eyes right along the ground. And a lot of times you'll find other mushrooms. And sure enough, there's another yellow. So go and pick that one. What did I say? Right by the base of that big poplar and dad just called over, said he found a big one. Another one to the right of it, three right there. What, to the left? Not a bad trio of yellows. Haven't even gone 10 feet from finding those three yellows and here's another. Just came right down here and back into the ditch and found definitely the nicest one of the day. Let's see if I can find them again. Oh yeah, two actually right there big one right there, smallish one right there, and then another decent sized one over here. Oh yeah. That one was a real hidden. Big yellow after big yellow after big yellow in here. Now we literally are just in like a hundred foot circle here that we've just been finding them all in. So another pair right here I just seen. Big old poplar tree, should be some good spore through here. Definitely in that sunlight patch, I'd expect to find a few. Ooh, a big one right here. Three. 
I just found a couple as well. Big one right there, though. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, two here. Quite a few in here. One there. I guess I'm gonna pick these two over here. Tough one to spot there. Another decent one right here. The ditch just keeps on producing. Another decent sized gray one there. Bet you we find some right in here. Got a couple more decent sized poplar trees here. Nice sized one there. Another good one there. Go ahead and pick these. All through here, got a mix of holly trees and some poplars. We do find them under these holly trees as long as there's some poplars mixed in with them. There's one right there to your right. I don't know, they're everywhere. They're right here. The one behind the tree right there, you can't see. It's on this side of the tree. The leaf was blocking that one. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, we have been hunting for about an hour now and things are going pretty well. My dad already has half a bag. I, I got a decent few here. We were finding a lot right beside that ditch. So I'm guessing when it was dry, you know, it's been dry for about the past week. It just rained last night. But when those yellows popped up, it was probably dry. So they probably popped up right along that ditch because that was really the only place that was moist enough for them. So we've made a little move. We came over this hill. So we're in a little bit of a different area. Hopefully we'll be able to locate a few mushrooms in here and uh, keep putting them in the bag. All right, Dad just called me over. Apparently he found a couple big yellow ones. Let's see if I can see them. Oh, yep, big one right there I already seen. Got a whole one been up for a while. You don't and, wow, that is a big one. Always find one or two big ones right here, every year. Maybe not quite as big as the one I found yesterday, but it's definitely close. Good sized yellow one here. Not bad at all. Well, we were about to head on out of here and luckily I looked down and seen that one just as we were about to walk out of this area. Well, in here at our second spot of the day, dropped in over this hill, and sure enough, found our first morel about after about three minutes of looking. So, little medium-sized gray one here. I'm gonna let my sister pick it. Down in the bottom. Poplar trees. Poplar trees, yep. Right here. A few right here. Decent-sized gray one. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's one there, there's two there. Yeah. Yeah. 
Pretty cool. All right. The head fell off. Should be some right in here. Got a couple of poplar trees there and got a nice little hill that runs down into this bottom here. So should be some right in there if I had to guess. Yep. They're spread out in here, you know, they're not all clumped together, but quite a few. Look at that one. Huge yellow. Oh, lots right in here. I see one, two, a couple up on the hill there. One hidden under a leaf Three. right there. Or one by yep. your feet. Wow, yeah. Okay, we just hit a nice little patch right here. There's at least five or six I see right here. Another one right there, you might have, two more right there, you probably stepped on. See, one, two. One, two, no idea. One right here. Oh, yeah. And then another one right here. I think you did step on that one. Just found about, I don't know, 12 or 14 in a 10 foot square. Well, just found about 15 right there where my dad is all clustered up we got one poplar tree right here and then a couple more over there so right down here in the bottom of this hill like i said typically right where you get all a lot of the spore collecting plus a lot of the moisture so good area to find a good patch we probably walked past this one two or three times another one right here didn't even see that one Another one right there by your knee. Oh, yep. Gosh, look at all of them up here. Nice little pair there. Huh. Just picked those two and stood up, and I just saw that one. Nice sized yellow one there. There's one right there. And that is why you always check behind you when morel hunting. Right down there is where we found that little patch. And we had walked right through here when we came over here and just never even saw them. And there was nine or ten sitting right here on this little hillside, right in these pine trees. I'd bet you money we find a, at least a few right down there. More big poplar trees in a nice little bottom. A pretty big one. Another one right here. Hold that one in your palm. Nice sized one there. Oh, Dad's finding some. Yep, Dad just found one right here where they're supposed oh. to be. Liza just found another. But we're working up on the hill now. We found quite a few down here in the bottom, but uh, not really finding much. And my dad and my sister just called out, so we'll go see what they found. One right here, one right there, one right there. One right here. Nice size yellow. Not really where we would have expected to find them, but oh, just okay. goes to show you never know. Find another? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One right here. 
look right beside this brick. Oh yeah. Damn, I'm so Big one here. Decent one right there. Oh, yep. Nice gray. Okay, they're everywhere down here, too. Yep, Eliza found another one. They are just absolutely all over here. Oh, one. Big one. I didn't even see that one yet. Real good sized one here. Real nice size yellow. And another one right beside it. I mean, we haven't even come probably 30, 40 yards and we just found 30 or 40 mushrooms. Probably missed quite a few as well. We weren't even working that slow. Eliza's getting close to having a mostly full bag. Nice size gray there. So we are home now. Here is the two bags from our second haul of the day. There's the first haul. We're gonna go ahead and weigh these up and then lay them all out. One pounds, 3.5 ounces. So that first haul from today was one pound, 10 ounces. So end of the day with just under three pounds and we really didn't even look for that long so we have got all the mushrooms laid out now I went ahead and got them all counted here we found 127 in the second haul and 112 in the first haul totaling 239 morels on the day i don't think we found actually a single black one so all grays and yellows but I hope everybody enjoyed this morel hunting video. This was definitely one of the best days we have ever had in this area of Virginia. So an absolutely awesome day. Came away with a great haul and we're gonna be enjoying morels for a long, long time now. If you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel and you guys enjoy hunting and fishing and outdoor content, I'd highly recommend clicking that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. If you have any questions about morel hunting, how we found the morels, if you guys just wanna let me know how your morel season has been going, feel free to leave in a comment in the comment section down below and I respond to those and I'm happy to give tips and as much info as I can. I hope everybody is staying safe out there amid the coronavirus pandemic and thanks for watching.